Hi, this is Steve from Open Bomb again, and welcome to our video on the 2018 October release of the SolidWorks Open Bomb add-in. I want to take you through some of the new features, <clears throat> settings, and other things. This video might be a little bit longer than normal because I want to visit each one of these changes. First thing you notice is a slightly new UI, and we're going to start with the settings. There's a couple of nice new features in here as well. We've, re we've rearranged the UI a little bit to get some of the things out of the way. For cloud settings, we've added an, <clears throat> an authentication button so that when you uh, sign into your cloud account, the credentials that you give here will be authenticated prior. And you'll know if you type the password wrong. The neatest feature is the ability to edit and save uh, templates, SolidWorks templates for OpenBOM. Uh, this is about the single most requested uh, feature. I'm going to create a new template. SOLIDWORKS 3. <clears throat> this defines what stuff comes from SOLIDWORKS files into uh, your OpenBOM. Bomb. Uh, this is a very conventional UI. You can manipulate some of the uh, some of the properties. You can move things up and down, etc. Spend a little time with this. You're really going to like it. And also edit, which was virtually impossible last time, <clears throat> and delete. So we're going to set to SOLIDWORKS, uh, SOLIDWORKS 3. I'm also going to take you right now to a new uh, feature called Create Catalog from Folder. This just rocks. If you've got, you can see all my SOLIDWORKS folders here. If you've got a, a directory either on your machine or stored in the cloud or somewhere you can browse to full of SOLIDWORKS files, you can create an OpenBOM catalog directly from that. I click it, OpenBOM goes through, it opens each one of, your, of the files in that directory, extracts the information, get, extracts the thumbnail, creates a catalog. Let's take a look at that. And on the way, I want to show you another new feature. If you happen to not be signed into OpenBOM, like, like, like I'm not here, we will sign you in, authenticate you, and then take you directly to the place that you are going. Uh, in prior releases, we just dropped it to dashboard. So that's a nice new feature. Here's a catalog I just created from SolidWorks files that are stored on my disk. If I have uh, a directory full of uh, pieces that I use quite often, you're really going to like this. So spend a little time on that. And let's take a look at, uh, at, the, next, at the next feature. Um, let's create a bomb. We've got our uh, template set to SolidWorks 3. We're going to create a build material for my quadcopter. We're going to see that the properties that we specified in that template, as well as some other standard properties like part number, uh, thumbnail, there's a few uh, properties that are automatically added uh, to the bomb, uh, as, well as, the, as well as the others that come from SolidWorks. We'd love your feedback on whether or not you like that, if you'd like there to be some changes or more control over that. So what's going on right now is that open bomb is is dropping through this assembly, creating the thumbnails, creating the bomb. Let's take a look at the uh, at the bomb map. So this is the bomb of my quadcopter. Very nice. There's my catalog, my quadcopter. Also very nice. Let's take one last look at um, a couple of other features. We the update uh, CAD properties is, is nice. If I've made some changes in my Open Bomb, we can automatically uh, update those properties in your uh, SolidWorks uh, SolidWorks parts. And then finally, we've added added a feature that works quite well now, whether you're logged signed in or not, called uh, locate the bomb in Open Bomb, and that'll take you right to the build material for that particular um, for that particular assembly. So. So anyway, I know I went through all those uh, all those quickly. Uh, there's some uh, additional documentation online, um, and look at see our other videos for other improvements, especially in this uh, October 2018 release. Thank you.